don't even think about it, Jim. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Welcome to the behind the scenes of Luke Skywalker versus Harry Potter. The maybe top 10 most requested video we've had during the entire existence of this series. We've been getting this matchup since probably season one. We never quite knew how to do it. We wanted to make it big and fantastic. And 2020 being what it is, felt like a great time for animation, felt like a great time for maybe another Lego battle. And that means forest fire. <laughs> Sweet. Fly the X-Wing to save a planet from massacre You fly a broom like some kind of magical janitor Your double dweeb army likes to think that you're the best All you did was use your mom like a bulletproof vest Forrest Whaley, he did Thor vs. Zeus He has continued to grow his channel and grow his skills And he's turned into like a crazy, crazy talented animator now Forrest has a way of really imagining whole worlds and bringing them to life in his animations. And I really wanted to set him free on this battle, especially with these characters who have such rich worlds and quite frankly, such rich Lego play sets that, that exist. I wanted to give him no restraints. So we did something a little different. We took our whole budget that we would have normally put into a normal battle for costumes, producer, props, the rental of the green screen, camera equipment, lenses, food, everything. And we gave that to Forrest and said, hey, what could you do with this whole thing? And he hired a team of animators and some set designers and put together this whole production team. And Forrest really ran with the visuals from start to finish. My crusted empire, a galaxy large. I blew up the Death Star. You blew up Aunt Mars. I popped you where Poppy Poppy can't be healing you. And like a great disturbance in the force, I'm not feeling you. So we've devised this uh, special rig here to allow us to attach our camera to the train and capture Harry on his journey to the castle. We had to put a counterweight over here to kind of balance it and make sure it's even. And uh, the effect is pretty sweet. Let me stick my plans in your dusty bin droid. I'll leave you like a horcrux, split up and destroyed. Ho, 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 up! It's that time of year again, kiddies. It's the epic rap battles of history Christmas merchandise extravaganza. Go to erbmerch.com to check out all new t-shirts, hats, masks. We even got an Epic Rap Battles of History Season 6 CD. Oh! So be good, head to erbmerch.com, get yourself some new swag, or else we're coming down the chimney for you. I really didn't give much input, except we sat down with the patrons and had a discussion about what are three main locations for each character that we would like to make sure make it into the battle. And we all decided the platform nine and three quarters, a Quidditch field, and Hogwarts Castle would be the three like main, we have to see these for Harry's world. And then for Luke, it was Tatooine, the Death Star fight scene from Return of the Jedi, and Endor. We wanted to have some speeder chase sequence. I wanted there to be some sort of interaction between the Quidditch broom flying and a speeder chase. So I, I gave those ideas to Forrest and really just let him run wild. We we wanted to go bigger than we did with Zeus versus Thor. We wanted to let him really explore the worlds, and I think he did that. I'm the boy who lived, bestseller without equal. I'll split you like your fan base is feelings about the prequels. The sequels brought you back to meet your demise. I'd say you were brilliant, but I must not tell lies. We knew we needed an authentic British accent to play Harry Potter, because y'all just are not going to put up with no bullshit accents. I know that about you, and I love that about you. We looked at a couple of different British rappers. We were looking for the right style, and a suggestion from our patrons was, have you considered Dave from Boy in a Band? The first time I saw a Boy in a Band video was a video called Don't Stay in School. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. But I know how Henry VIII killed his women. Divorce beheaded died. Divorce beheaded survived. Glad that's in my head instead of financial advice. Which sounds like a bad title, but it's so smart. So many great points. I was like, this is like another level writing. The thing is we had considered Dave for many other roles. We were maybe gonna reach out to him about Dracula, but I hadn't yet considered Dave for Harry Potter. And as soon as they mentioned him, I thought he was perfect. Even the mad eye of my man, Alistair Moody could see a franchise only has two decent movies. Very, very, 
talented rapper, very skilled with his diction and with his mouth. So there was no cleaning up of his rap. And the only feedback we gave back to Dave was like, hey, can you do another take where you just scream? And you'll hear that in parts like uh, the, you're like a stormtrooper because all your shit misses. You're like a stormtrooper because all your shit misses. So we cast Harry Potter. Now it's time to cast the Weasleys. The Weasleys? Weasleys. Weas the, the Weasley, the bros. And we reached out to our old friends, the Jackpot Golden Boys. I don't want to play no game. I'm sure you feel the same. I just want to be sincere. I've got nothing to lose. The Jackpot Golden Boys are a band also based in England. We toured with them on our Epic Rap Battles of History live concert tours. They're a great band, great energy, and great great dudes. Hey everyone, hey. it's the Jackpot Golden Boys here and we are playing the Weasley Brothers in the new rap battle Luke Skywalker versus Harry Potter. Or Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> I roll deep and the Weasley's got my back. This bugger sucks. More hole than the bloody Sarlacc. We'll wrap you up good if you're trying to step to Harry mate. You're the least intimidating twin since Mary Kate. Yeah. Listen back. Didn't record. Oh. <laughs> Classic. Yes. Have you heard rap before? That was not dope at all. Maybe have Goldie Ball show you the protocol. But I bet you're just distracted. You got a lot on your plate. On one hand, the rebellion. On the other hand, oh wait. For the writing of this battle, we knew we had to get super specific. We know there's giant fan bases for both of these two characters and that you're gonna appreciate well-planted seeds of jokes. So. I sought out some experts. I went to England for my birthday, and while I was there, I got in touch with this group called the Spontaneous Players. And they are a improv group from Edinburgh that does improv shows all around the Harry Potter theme. So I was like, I think I'm gonna have to be friends with these people. So I got to do a show with them out there. It was hilarious. And so when we started writing this battle, I called them up. I was like, yo, can you guys help me write this? And we worked together on some of the jokes. My favorite joke from the Spontaneous Players was, you fly around on a mop like a magical janitor. <laughs> Flying around on a bloom like a magical janitor. That to me is so funny and they wrote that out and I thought that was hilarious. Shout out to Will and Sam and all the fine people at the Spontaneous Players. If you're ever in Edinburgh or at Fringe, I think they do the Fringe Festival, check them out. Their website down below good stuff my mic saber cuts through you so slicey leave you on the floor like an arm at most icely hit you with the wampa wraps i get icy land them in your face like that'll do nicely making the music was a really fun experience for me the foundation was this beat called obsession by epistra He's a producer we've worked with many times before. He made the Joker versus Pennywise beat. He actually, I think, made the, yeah, he made the Zeus versus Thor beat. So he's two for two on the brick battles. And then I wanted to add in some musical elements from both the Harry Potter world and the Luke Skywalker world. I never could figure out what's that sound? What's that Luke Skywalker, like, wistful sound? And it turns out it's a bassoon. Oh, it's a French horn. It's a French horn. I couldn't hold it. I'm sorry. It's a French horn. It's a bassoon. It's a French horn. It's a bassoon. It's a French horn. And then also I added in some low brass, that little bum, 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 bum. And some timpanis and some other sounds, just to bring some John Williams orchestral vibes into it. And then for Harry, the only Harry Potter musical element that got added was that choir i don't even know if you remember the the harry potter scene where there's like some frogs and there's a choir and they're like beat a body, beat a bubble up. the sound effects are one of my favorite parts especially with the more cinematic quality of the video We knew that it was gonna be a more cinematic, more action. And action without sound effects feels very empty. And I thought I was gonna end up doing a lot of the sound design, but Forrest did it all. <laughs> he came back with this completed sound effects track that had sound effects for a lot of the action. Yes or no? No! Oh! We used no copywritten sounds. There's nothing from any of the movies or anything. And so we had to recreate some of the sounds really creatively. Well, he did. I, I didn't do that much. I just recreated R2-D2 creatively. That's right, R2. It does sound like he left all his fire in the goblet. 
That's actually a bird. The R2-D2 sound is a, a bird doing an impression of R2-D2. My Jedi mind tricks, put the next on your Imperium. Tip you up like death sticks, I'm Bellatrix, dead serious. No need to ex it's you're heartless in a duel. Call me the Hogwarts Express, I just took you to school. This is the season finale of season six. It's been 12 battles, it's been two years, it's been a weird year, just in case anybody didn't notice. It's a tough time, it's a tough time for everybody. So I hope this video can spread some joy, it's fun. And that was something we really wanted to bring out. Thank you guys all for being a part of the channel and have a great year and stay safe. Thanks to Forrest and his crew, thanks to our patrons, thanks to you for watching. And um, yeah, see you, uh, see you next time, bye bye. This muggle sucks more hold than the bloody Scarlet. Scarlet, yeah. <laughs> it's just a bit of a more chilled out. Stoned Weasley. Yeah, exactly. Ron Weedley. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>